Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, O God, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Praise to the blessed and holy Trinity, one God, who gives us life, salvation, and resurrection. Alleluia. Give glory to God, our light and our life. O oh, come, let us worship and praise. A reading from 2 Corinthians. I repeat, let no one think that I am a fool, but if you do, then accept me as a fool, so that I too may boast a little. What I am saying in regard to this boastful confidence, I am saying not with the Lord's authority, but as a fool. Since many boast according to human standards, I will also boast, for you gladly put up with fools being wise yourselves. For you put up with it when someone makes slaves of you, or preys upon you, or takes advantage of you, or puts on airs, or gives you a slap in the face. To my shame, I must say we were too weak for that. But whatever anyone dares to boast of, I am speaking as a fool, I also dare to boast. Are they Hebrews? so am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they descendants of Abraham? So am I. Are they ministers of Christ? 
I am talking like a madman. I am a better one, with far greater labors, far more imprisonments, with countless floggings, and often near death. Five times I have received from the Jews the forty lashes minus one. Three times I was beaten with rods. Once I received a stoning. Three times I was shipwrecked. For a night and a day I was adrift at sea. On frequent journeys, in danger from rivers, danger from bandits, danger from my own people, danger from Gentiles, danger in the city, danger in the wilderness, danger at sea, danger from false brothers and sisters. In toil and hardship, through many a sleepless night, hungry and thirsty, often without food, cold and naked. And besides other things, I am under daily pressure because of my anxiety for all the churches. Who is weak, and I am not weak? Who is made to stumble, and I am not indignant? If I must boast, I will boast of the things that show my weakness. The God and Father of the Lord Jesus, blessed be he forever, knows that I do not lie. In Damascus, the governor under King Aretas guarded the city of Damascus in order to seize me. But I was let down in a basket through a window in the wall and escaped from his hands. Holy wisdom, holy word, thanks be to God. You have been born anew through the living and abiding Word of God. and the shadow of death 
and to guide our feet into the way of peace. In the tender compassion of our God, the God of our nation, bring the cross. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Mighty God of mercy, we thank you for the resurrection dawn, bringing the glory of our risen Lord who makes every day new. Especially, we thank you for the sustaining goodness of your creation. For the new creation in Christ and all gifts of healing and forgiveness. For the gifts of relationship with others for the ministry of St. Mark's Ark, for the communion of faith in your church. Friends, for what else are we thankful? Merciful God of might, renew this weary world Heal the hurts of all your children and bring about your peace for all in Christ Jesus, the living Lord. Especially we pray for those who govern nations of the world, for the people and countries ravaged by strife or warfare, for all who work for peace and international harmony, for all who strive to save the earth from carelessness and destruction. For Daniel, our pastor, Pedro, our bishop, and Elizabeth, our presiding bishop. For the Church of Jesus Christ in every land. Friends, for what else shall we pray? Finally, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen.